Hi guys and welcome back to Sparajo Madrid. My name is Daniela. I'm showing you three great bedrooms in a six bedroom apartment here in Alcalá de Henares. We are very, very close to the University of Alcalá de Henares, particularly the law department and also the philosophy department. We're right across the street. Also, we're about a one minute walk away from the bus stop that takes you directly to Madrid and about a five minute walk from the Renfe station. I really think you're gonna like it. Come with me. Okay guys, so this would be the entrance hall right here. As you can see, we have parquet floors, sort of a little welcome station right there, it says welcome, and some mirrors right before you leave are, are always good. And we have this furniture right here. So let's walk right into the living room right here. As you can see, it's sort of like a long room. We have this comfy couch over here with a lamp, a perfect reading spot. And over here, we have some shelving for some decoration. And if we walk a few steps, we have this couch right here that goes right to this TV, so you can watch movies. So, and we have some heating here. Let's check it out from over here. This would be the living area, one of the common areas. Over here, we have the patio, well, more of a balcony. As you can see, we have a little table here, perfect for hanging out, having a few beers with your roommates. And this would be the view from the apartment. As you can see, we have a really nice view of Alcalá de Henares. Main street over here. Okay, let's start checking out the bedrooms. Today we have bedroom one available, which is this. As you can see, we have a one uh, single bed over here and a small glass desk. It's a really nice desk with the lamp and the chair and also a little, uh, you know, a little shelf to put your things. And if we check out, we have this really nice details right here that says Subway, Indiana Jones. It's just Kind of like a nice little touch. Over here we have a mirrored closet, so you can check yourself out. And if you open it, you have your closet space. We have some racks over here, and another rack over here. And you can also always store your bags up there. So this would be bedroom number one. And the window, it actually goes to the patio. You're, this is the only bedroom that has a view of the patio and you can close the curtains if you want some privacy so bedroom number one okay now let's check out bedroom number two which is also available let's take a like sweeping slow motion look of it we have this bed it's also a single bed it looks to be slightly bigger I think this is a slightly bigger room we have a chest of drawers and we also have a desk here with your lamp and chair. We also have this nice detailing in the wall as well. And over here we have a mirror for you to check yourself out. The window here is over there and it actually goes to the living room. So it doesn't actually go outside, but it goes to the living room. And over here we have the closet. Let's open it. And as you can see, we have shelving here and there. So it's pretty spacious actually. And we have this nice detailing here on top, this nice beam. So, quite nice room, okay. Now we move on ahead. Over here is bedroom number three, which is unavailable. Bedroom number four, which is unavailable. And over here we have bed bedroom number five, which is available. So as you can see, this is a larger bedroom than uh, one and two. It has actually a double bed on this one. The, the, we have wooden floors, and we also have this wooden desk right now. It's, you know, larger than the other desks, as you can see. And it has, you know, some shelving over here. You can decorate up here. We also have this nightstand over here for your personal belongings and whatnot, and your lamp. And over here we have these drawers right there. Right there. And this would be, this is a street view, as you can see. You can see that main avenue that we saw from the patio. And if we turn around, we also have a mirror here, very important. And we have a very big closet, as you can see. We have shelvings right here. We have more drawers here. And over here as well, we have the rack. Let's see if my camera focuses. And more um, drawers. And there's also a bit more storage space right there. Just open it up. It's a perfect place to hide your bags and get them out of the way. So let's look at it one more time. 
Lovely, beautiful. Okay, so over here is bathroom number one. As you can see, quite a spacious bathroom. We have the sink here with some space for, you know, putting your toiletries and whatnot. We have a mirror with some beauty lights. We have, of course, the toilet. And over here, we have some shelving for your toiletries and whatnot. And I'm sure you can divide it up with your roommates for equal dispersion, you know. And over here, we have this really nice tile. As you can see, this whole bathroom has it. Sort of like a plaid tile. And we have a full bath. So those of you that like bubble baths in the winter, you are more than welcome to have one here. And as you can see, you have a, a removable shower head, so you can use it as a regular shower as well. Check it out from the side. Spacious bathroom, everything you need. Okay, moving on to bathroom number two. This right here is bedroom number six, but it's unavailable right now. We have bathroom number two, it's slightly smaller, but it's still pretty spacious. We have here the sink with some space for your toiletries. We have big mirror over there with beauty lights. The tile is different, but it's actually really nice. I really like it. And over here, we have, of course, the toilet. And it's also, this is a bath, but it's smaller. Definitely the other one's a bigger bath. And, but you can definitely do some little bathing. And of course, use the removable shower head. Just put it up there and use it as a normal shower. And, if, and both baths have um, these glass dividers, which are always, you know, so much nicer than having a shower curtain. And over here we have some shelving, some wooden shelving, which is perfect to put your toiletries and whatnot. So again, let's check out bathroom number two. And over here we walk into the kitchen, common area of course. We have over here this big glass table with four chairs, perfect to eat your meals with your roommates. We also have a toaster over there. And over here, as you can see, we have two fridges. This is a six bedroom apartment, so it's always nice to have two fridges for all the space. We have a blackboard right there. Over here we have a microwave. And we have some counter space for cooking and whatnot, cutting up your veggies. We have four electric stove tops and an oven. And if we open the drawers and cabinets, you can see it's a fully equipped kitchen. We have room for cutlery, we have plates, we have pans, we have everything you need to cook. It's a fully, fully equipped kitchen. Over here we have cups. Up here we have some pantry space. The bell to take out the, you know, smells and smoke. More counter space. Over here we have the kitchen sink. And over here, this lovely trick to keep the dirty dishes, well, the clean dishes out of sight. You put them here and it makes for a tidier kitchen. Over here we have a little more space, you know, perfect for cleaning supplies. And over here we have the dishwasher. Not the dishwasher, sorry, the washing machine. And over here, some shelving right there, you know, for your cooking things, you know, your spices and pantry space and whatnot. And you have this really nice tile here in the kitchen. It's really pretty. If we go through this doors right here, we have sort of this laundry room area where you can dry your clothes. You have, you know, sort of a laundry sink. We have, you know, a place to put all the cleaning supplies and whatnot. And it's perfect to just keep those things out of sight. You know, you can put everything, everything you use to clean right here. And it has this sort of uh, window as well that goes to the same view as bedroom number five. And then if we go through here, let's check out the kitchen from right here. Slow pan. Let's check it from the other side. Slow pan, perfect. And this will take us right back to the main entrance. Well guys, that was it for today. I really hope you enjoy it. See you next time. Bye.